Good evening, everyone. <laughs> this is a question and answer episode two, and I'm at the Greenwich Observatory, as you can see behind me there, and the sun is just going down. And it's been a lovely day, uh, and it's just nice to come here and relax on the lawns, public space. Anyway, straight on with the question and answers. Um, I'm on question. I just realised I missed out question six. Wait a minute, this is quite weird. <laughs> I just realised something. <laughs> I made a bit of a mistake here. So I've had to rewrite the numbers. I went from number five to number seven. There was no number six. So I've had to re redo the, uh, the numbers. So I am on number six now. For some reason, I put seven. Anyway, Ryan Ventura. Ryan Ventura. Uh, is question six has asked how long is the training period and what percentage of that is actually driving now, I know someone else I think might have mentioned in the comment section of the video six weeks um, I remember mine when I was uh, obviously training back in 2002 um, obviously we just brought the theory test in then well when I passed my driving test my car driving test in 1996 I didn't even need to take a theory test I just took a normal driving test and then the theory test came in uh, late night in 1996 um, but in 2002 obviously there was um, a theory uh, which was like a question and answer well no it's like a multi-choice questions and you had to get I had to get something like 28 out of 35 questions right and I got maybe 29 or something I don't know I passed that and then eventually I could take my uh, my main driving test um, but I would say now it's about six weeks I don't really know um, obviously new drivers training up I would say it's between six and eight weeks. It's not, I mean, I can't believe it was three weeks. I obviously was learning to drive for two weeks uh, and failed the first time as a bus driver. Sorry, as to take my test. And the guy I was training with, Andy, he failed too, and he was better at me at driving. Because he used to drive vans before I became a bus driver. I just drove cars. So I was a bit shocked. I was like, wow. So anyway, we had some more training to try and um, iron off anything that we were doing um, you know, wrong or bad habits that maybe we picked up. Uh, and I took my driving test again and I passed it obviously um, in the third week. And then I had a week of like learning routes or something, but we were learning routes while we were learning to drive. So as you learn to drive, you were kind of learning routes as well. You know, um, that's how, how it was up in Huddersfield, you know. Um, but yeah, um, the training period I would say, Ryan, is about between six and eight weeks. It's a lot more now, obviously there's a lot more health and safety things and you know, buses are, are a lot more, there's a lot more like electronics now, they're a lot more complicated, more, more things to go wrong, more buzzers to be sounding in the cab, you know. Um, but I would say yeah, it's six to eight weeks to um, pass, to, you know, with the actual training period. Hope that answers your question there. Uh, right, the next question, question number seven, is by a George St. Vincent. George St. Vincent, hello there. And you've asked, where is your favourite place to drive to by bus and why? Well, let me see. I would say my favourite place to, to, to drive to is, well, I can't say in detail what route I drive. But the reason I drive the same route as I do is it's just a nice route. Now, this is, I'm talking about the route in London. I do like going over London Bridge. That was the best part of my route, actually, uh, until recently. But uh, it's still a nice, you know, uh, it's still a nice part of my route. Uh, I like to see the water. I like to go over the Thames. I like passing from the north to the south. You know, there's something about going over the Thames. I like to see water. It's just nice. Um, well, it's not very nice to go on if the Thames is quite dirty. <laughs> but what I mean is it's, um, it is nice to drive... Um, you know, passing up, passing over the Thames. So I do like driving my route. Uh, the route as well is not too busy. It can be busy, but it's not completely busy. There are certain bus routes that are very, very, very busy. But some of them are nice, but very, very stressful. Uh, for example, I'm here at Greenwich, and uh, I got a bus. Uh, uh, in fact, it's at another depot. Uh, I used to drive the 188 bus at Abellio and uh, I remember that was a nice route, it's a lovely route it goes all the way to North Greenwich via Greenwich the Cutty Sack which is a famous old ship uh, it goes to Deptford um, all the way to Canada Water Surrey Keys, uh, Rover Rive, Bermondsey uh, Elephant and Castle 
um, I think via New Kent Road, then it goes down to Waterloo, Waterloo Bridge, Holborn, and finishes at Russell Square. And when I first started driving the 188 back in 2012, it was extended to Euston because of the Olympic Games. Um, so that was quite a nice route actually. I like driving the 188, but obviously uh, I don't drive that anymore because it's not at my garage that I work at now. But um, I remember the time I was put on another route, which is my current route that I drive, which used to be at the other depot, which is, uh, you know, which I still drive, at this other depot. Uh, and I remember thinking, I don't want to do this route. I didn't ask to go on it. So I put a memo in to someone in the office. Uh, it was called Andrew, and he had a lot of work to do. I remember Andrew. Uh, if you're watching Andrew, say, I'd just like to say hello, thanks for all your work that you did at the other garage. Uh, I know that you've moved on now, but th thanks Andrew, this is a big thank you. Uh, but I remember I said, please take me off that route, I want to go back on the 188. Uh, but obviously you had so many memos to deal with that I didn't look at it. Because like, after a few days I said, no, 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 leave me on this route, which is the current route that I drive, which is over Lund, 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 which is over Lund, Lund, Lund. sorry, I have a stutter sometimes. It's the current route that I drive over London Bridge, and I've been driving that, that for probably... Been driving five years in London now, just over five years. I came down just after mid June and I did the current route I'm on now for probably four years and ten months, and I still enjoy the route. It can be a bit boring, which is why I like to swap, but the route I do now is my favourite route. So I hope that answers your question. That is uh, obviously the favourite place to drive. Well, obviously, yeah, I like driving, um, you know, I like driving. You know, uh, you know, around the Liverpool Street area, you know, um, the old gate, Fenchurch Street, uh, Monument, a lovely old uh, that tower which has got that gold stuff at the top, that right on the Thames. I like going over London Bridge, I like going through Borough, um, Elephant and Castle. Uh, I like going up uh, Walworth Road, past East Street, where Charlie Chaplin was born. He was born on East Street Market. Um, then obviously there's Burgess Park which is lovely, then there's um, Camberwell, uh, then you've got King's College Hospital, then you've got um, Denmark Hill train station, and you've got East Dulwich uh, and then Dulwich. So I like driving around those areas. I also like driving around Waterloo. To be honest the whole of London is quite nice. Peckham, I didn't really like Peckham at first but I like Peckham now. So I like driving around Peckham. Um, Sorry, if you can hear the noise, there's a big helicopter coming. It's one of them military style ones. I don't know if you can see it. That helicopter reminds me of the game Desert Strike or Jungle Strike that I used to play on the Super Nintendo. It's exactly, it's one of them from the game. It's one of them, uh, is it a Lynx? I think it's a, can't, is it a Lynx? I thought they were retired, them helicopters. Sorry, let me focus. The minutes are going by. So yeah, um, where have you, where's your favourite place to drive to by bus and why? Um, like I said, I like driving all over London. Uh, when I was in Huddersfield, I used to like driving past where my family lived. And you know, so there are some areas in towns and cities that are rough, and there are some nicer areas. And you could say I just like to drive in all areas, but route areas that are nicer and I've got nicer, you know, that are considered nice. I just like driving. You know through the nicer areas you could say i don't want to drive through rough areas you know because it's nice to have nicer people on your bus you don't want to have nasty people on your bus you know that does happen i'm not saying if i go through a bad area i'm going to have worse people than in a nice area you get bad people all over the place you know um but uh yeah i, I like to drive all over all over london actually uh, it makes it less boring and keeps it you know I like to have a lot of ver lot of ver variety anyway that is your question George St Vincent um, right question eight I'm going really slow here aren't I? I'm just gonna cover these questions in detail question eight is by Southwest 455 Southwest 455 asks the following question I'm cooking I'm cooking in the sun here sorry I'm getting quite warm but I'm not gonna move I keep moving around in the shade but I'm not gonna bother now anyway Southwest 455 your question is what is your favorite bus to drive my favorite bus to drive my favourite bus to drive, I would say, obviously I've been driving a lot of the new buses, uh, but I do like the Volvo Evo City hybrid buses. They are nicer to drive than the Alexander Dennis um, Enviro buses. It's funny because the Volvo Evo City is a £30,000 cheaper 
than the in Vero's, but that's because they're built in Egypt and obviously the labour is cheaper, so obviously all them hours by all them people, you couldn't save a lot of money. But the Volvo Evo City bus, I, I like Volvos, they're just a better quality bus, the whole the feeling in the cab. There's more space in the cab, you sat up a lot higher, so you feel more confident when you're driving. You sat maybe, I don't know if you sat seven foot high, whereas if you're in Enviro, you might be six foot high, just for example. So you sit a lot higher in the Volvos, so I like driving them. I also like a right-bodied Volvo, the right-bodied Volvos. Uh, I've been driving the odd one of them, and they're actually very, very nice. Sorry about that, a lot of people just around me, a lot of young people are getting a group photograph of the view, in the, which is over there. So <laughs> I just stopped the video then. Anyway, yeah, as you said, my favourite bus to drive, uh, Southwest 455, I would say is, is the Volvo. The Volvo Evo Seti are nice to drive. And the right body version, uh, I drove that six, seven months ago, and I drove it, I think it was yesterday. And that was really a nice bus to drive. The right bodied bus is a better quality bus than the Evo Seti Volvo, and they're more expensive. So the right bodied Volvo is very nice to drive, um, and the Evo Seti is very nice. But the Alexander, the Alexander Dennis Enviro hybrid, that one has no gears, and that one's very smooth. It's very fast accelerating and braking. So the acceleration and braking is smoother on the Enviros than it is on the Volvo and right-bodied, um, the, sorry, the Volvo, right-bodied and Evo City buses. So, hmm, it's a tough one, really. I like variety. I don't want to drive the same bus all the time. I'd be fed up. But if I had a choice, it would be the Volvo. The Volvo Evo City, I'd definitely drive. Um, right-bodied one, doesn't I don't think it looks as nice looking as the Evo City. It's got a more of a. I find that the the right-bodied Volvo looks a bit like a Transformers face, like the alien. It's got a funny-looking front, whereas the uh, Evo City has got a softer-looking face, uh, more traditional style of bus. Uh, so I like the Evo City, but I know speaking to some people in engineering, they have said that the Evo City buses. There have been a few problems. Maybe it's to do with being a cheaper bus and built in Egypt. You know, I know the right-bodied bus is better than the uh, Evo City M um, uh, MCV. It's MCV-bodied uh, Evo City Volvos. Uh, they are my favourite bus, but just there have been a few problems with them. I'll go into that on, uh, later on. Anyway, uh, get on to the next question. I'll get another question. Oh, sorry, Southwest 455, you've asked another question. You've asked, if you were to pick a different job to do with transport, what would you pick? If you were to pick a different job to do with transport, what would you pick? I know I could have gone into the office and been a supervisor at a lot of the depots I've worked at. Some people said, why not, Anton? You seem to have a passion for bus driving. Why don't you go in the office? I suppose I never challenged myself, really. I've always wanted to be a bus driver. I like to be outdoors. I like to meet people. And I think that's what I like about it. I like... I like buses, I like driving them. If, if, for example, they said there's no more bus driving jobs available, you have to be a supervisor or, or something like that, a relief supervisor, they have to give it a go, you know. That, you know. But if there was another job to do in the transport industry, um, I don't know, coach driving. I could do coach driving. Obviously, truck truck driving, does that apply in the, to the transport? Truck driving or coach driving? It would be nice to drive a coach. Coaches, uh, I did drive a coach in first bus. It was about eight years ago. It was a coach, an old National Express coach, and they were automatic coaches, and they were really nice to drive, actually. Obviously, all the seats are really high up, but you were sat low down at the front, and the way the door opened was the door of the coach opened out instead of opening in. I always remember that. I was going through St. George's Square in Huddersfield, and I opened the door, and the, the, the door went out and nearly hit someone at the traffic lights. I don't, know, I don't know why they'd open the door, I didn't know how to work it, I don't know. <laughs> I always remember that. But no, um, I would like to do coaches, well, to be honest, no, no, I'll just be honest, I'd like to stick with buses, I like buses. If an opportunity came to drive coaches for a short time, for a few weeks or months, within the same company, yes I could. But I've always liked buses, and that's what I've done for 15 years, and I'll keep on doing it, you know. But it would be nice to travel um, around the world, driving buses in different towns and cities. That's something I would like to do if, if an opportunity like that came up in the future. Around the world in 80 buses is something I would like to do in the future. That's something else. Anyway, I've got to go because it's going past 15 minutes. I'll see you later. Have a good day.